to have a thought and to be able to record the thought is pretty amazing. I'm uh, just thinking that if we didn't have video, we would... I'm not going to talk in terms of we. Right now, me, I, if I didn't have video to be documenting what I'm doing, I would just be going through everything. Without real, without thinking about what I was doing, I would just be surviving. I would be thinking about it a little bit, but if I have money and time to sit around, I might be thinking about it and talking about it. But without a way to record it, I guess I would still talk about my journey as I was going on my journey, which is what I'm still doing. But I'm using the video and, and recording it and putting it on this, all these magical tools to put up now that we harnessed electricity. Ben Franklin, this dude, I mean, it was just going to be somebody. It was just this guy who's also having to be starting this country, a revolutionary. The man was brilliant. Thomas Jefferson had crops of marijuana. They were definitely stoners or smoked a lot of weed or took psychedelic mushrooms. And he, he was out in the storm co connecting to the electricity, calling it, bringing it into his key. The key! It came down the kite through the rope with the water on it into the key. And he harnessed electricity. Then we were able to record our journey. That's what this is really about. It's not about Ben Franklin. It's not even about what he did. It's about, I mean, I guess, look at what he did to learn from it. This guy harnessed the power of something that seemed like it wasn't harnessable. It seemed like electricity was just something that you couldn't, it's like saying that we can't fly is to say that we can't, we couldn't harness electricity when we saw it in the sky. I mean, how fantastical was that to see it cr crash and destroy and to think that you would be the master of it. So I think the same with all aspects of physics. We can fly. We can do everything with the technology as the technology is increasing. Electromagnetics, nanotechnology, we can put anything together in any combination, molecularly, atomically. Atomically, then molecularly, then elementally. We build the elements. And when we build the elements, we put the elements together to make bread or anything, but make bread and eat the bread. And nanotechnology is the future. Nanotechnology is now. It's here now. And it's developing at a rapid pace and faster as artificial intelligence and biotechnology and another form of science, which I don't remember the name off the top of my head. It's, it's something, but there's four of them, and they're all increasing at the same pace. They were increasing slowly, then they had kind of a breakthrough. And now nanotechnology is going to be what we use instead of money. The human race will just create what it needs to survive and then focus. This money system has been a real stress on people. Most people I know, for me, at times. I'm using the eBay thing. I'd rather trade things that I found along my journey for money to buy things to, to get new things on my journey and then trade them away and, and use them and give them and do that then clock in and clock out of a job. I'm still working at my clock in and clock out job because I like the people, I like the atmosphere, it's privately run, it's, it's a family environment it's great and I don't mind serving people that's an interesting part of the path We're all just going through our journeys. Only because of society so advanced does it seem like we are people living in, in the spot and being parts. But we're, we're all travelers. 
and we're coming into contact with other travelers, it doesn't seem like traveling because we don't actually walk to a new place that frequently now, like they did uh, 1,500 years ago. We would just, I mean, we, you would start families. Before agriculture, everybody just traveled all the time, collecting things along your way and trading them. When trade became part of culture, when people would find interesting things and give them to other people for things that they found interesting and they could learn about reality through examining it and trading it and, and getting, getting it. Even I think money is a tool to be able to learn about reality. So give what you've learned and receive. Now it's money, which is the, is the distraction. People equate money to what we know, our time. People equate money to time given. And that is the problem with money because money is not equal to time given. Some people are born with a lot of money. Some people are born with very little money. But we're all giving the same amount of time. I'm glad I captured that. Why do they call it capture and shoot? Shoot and capture with a camera. Why is it so aggressive? Why are people afraid of being on camera? Get on camera. Put it on, document the journey, put it as part of your journey. Use the technology that you find, that you come across, and examine it, and continue on. I'm going to go to the store and buy some fruits and vegetables. I'm going to put some more things up on eBay. I'll give you a little taste of what's to come. I'm going to sell this shirt. Katie, if you want to buy this shirt and burn it on video, feel free. But you're going to be bidding up against other people. I hope. I hope so. This is my original work shirt at Dusty's. Christian and Maggie brought me another rose shirt with pockets. And it's a little bigger. This one's a little small on me. I've always liked it. And it buttons on the other side, so maybe it's a woman's shirt. But I mean, you know, it's a person's shirt. I love it. Uh, it's really nice, uh, but it's about, I think it's a small or like a woman's medium or large. I don't really know women's sizes as well. Anyway, you're, uh, you're welcome to bid on it if you want to, you're welcome to bid on it if you want to buy it. I'm going to put it up on eBay and, uh, we'll go from there. I have some other things that I'm going to put up through the weeks and I'll, uh, I'll highlight interesting things I've found, I'll talk about them. Because that's what it is. It's trading and, and buying and trading and selling. And, but buying and selling is just using money as a middleman for the trade. But I'm just trading it away for, more th for new things, more things. Other things that I find more interesting. It's, oh, I love the barter system. I love eBay, like marketplaces and things. I wish it, it would have been cool to, to all be at a marketplace and talking to each other with our things. I'll see I'll see you later. I, I got to go to the store.